Well, here we are. This is Harry Potter movie number two. This is Chamber of Secrets. And, um... I played this game at the time. <laughs> Believe it or not. This is the only one I've ever finished. Actually, no, that's not true. I finished the first one on the PlayStation. We, uh... We had a GameCube at one point, and this game came as part of the bundle, so I sat and finished it. It was very short, as I remember it, um, and not great, but, you know, when you've not got much else to play and you don't work for a living, and you're a kid, you'll play through anything, because at some point, especially if it's the summer holidays and you're bored, a game is better than no game. So, we're kind of going back in time a little bit because the previous game we looked at was the was technically after it was released after this game, even though it was based on the first movie. Did Messy. Did you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? Beds but, but, empty, no note, car gone. Oh, Mom, I I... out of my mind with worry. Did you care? Never, as long as I've lived. But, Mum... Now get outside and start denoming. I've had it up to here with all of you. Except you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. You ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Denoming? Well, I'm not sure. Denoming. I've been with Dursley so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. Best have a tutorial, eh? Was truly smashing Harry. Oh. Once you learn some second year magic, you'll be able to ring the bell. Yay! You know, Harry, you can cast Flipendo on a whole bunch of things lying around the burrow, and if you do, you might be surprised at what you find. I think what I will say about this game. Hmm. When I learn some second year magic, I should be able to get the shield to is the that top. I quite like the, the graphically I quite like it. It's got a an attractive style to it. This um oh, I got distracted. This game came out in two thousand two. And there's about five different developers listed for it. Because there is literally that many versions. Ooh. Bean. That's got one. Blech. A bean. A bean. That was pretty good, Harry. You've got the little pests on the run. So the version we're looking at is from Eurocom, where. Big E... Uh, e were they EA? No, they weren't. They were independent because they did all sorts of stuff. They did lots of licensed games. We've looked at plenty of them. Um, Harry, November 2002. Like there was a PS1 version, which was again developed by Argonaut. Different game. PC version, developed by somebody else. Completely different game. Really strange. Don't be scared, Harry. Let's do some circle strafing. Cast Flipendo when its doors open. It's like my first combat game. Oh! Just open your door. Yeah, look at that health bar. That washing machine's dead. That sorted it, Harry. I'd love to see that in Aunt Petunia's kitchen. You look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Right, let's go throw some gnomes. Where's the chocolate frog? What? I need... 
<laughs> it makes a horrible noise. Right, let's do some denoming. Denoming. We need to get a move on with the denoming. Mum will go. He can say it. Finds any gnomes left in the garden? Look, there's one over there. What you have to do is flipendo them until they're dazed and confused. Wow, I've got to try this. Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. And chuck them out of the garden. Nice one, Fred. That went miles. We are talking with our eyes. Yes. Flipendo. Here we go. You'll never beat my record. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Uh, that wasn't bad. Where'd those beans go? I want them. Oh. I keep getting the versions of these games with bad frame. Maybe they all just have bad frame rate. I've just forgotten. <laughs> That gnome's going miles. That's not very far. Throw, Harry. One more, I reckon. I've got this sealed. Hey! If you stay around for too long, you'll get dizzy. Aw, oh, come on. No warning as to when I'll actually get dizzy, though. One more. <laughs> Bully. Oops. There we go. Come on, that's gonna be a far one. Yeah, there you go. My first wizard card. So yes, a lot of the mechanics from the next-gen version of Philosopher's Stone carry on into this because they were nicked directly from this game. Oh god, I don't want to do that. Close. Uh, the same problems in that I don't know which button to press either. Okay. What? Talk to. Don't forget, pick them up and spin them round and chuck them out the door. Oh, we still have to. But I got the world record. Harry, get on with it. I'm done with Dean That sound effect. <laughs> Excellent. We've denomed or denomed. Alley, then platform nine and three quarters for someone it's still sunny out denomed before you've done an excellent job harry almost as good as gilderoy lockhart himself thanks mrs weasley thank you when you've completed all your tasks for one day you'll be given the option to end day in the remember all yeah again same mechanics. Mrs. Weasley woke them all early the following Wednesday. Bloody hell, could you fit enough <laughs> subtitles on one screen? And everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never travelled by flu powder before, and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace, he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> Diagon Alley! It felt as though he was being... I'm sure that would have been funny if I could have seen it. Plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open, but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop, and then he fell. If I remember the movies correctly, he doesn't fall in the correct place. Ah! 
This doesn't look like Diagon Alley. He's not even pronouncing that right. Diagon Alley. Oh. What's in the giant cupboard? Harry Potter. Solutions Harry Potter's in the giant cupboard. Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Borgin. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. The Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items that you are willing to sell? <laughs> what kind of a line reading is that? You tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day, Mr. Malfoy. Or is that how the guy in the movie sounds? Because that's crazy. Giant hand! Wait. What's through there? It's very dark in here. It's almost like I need to do something in here first. Ow. Please stop doing that. What's in the book? Oh, symbols. Use this to find my way out. Find my way out, Jiminy Wicket. Quick to try. Oh, menu system. Loading screen. You'll never notice me if I run full speed. Oh, it's a flare. What's that squishing noise? Uh oh, imps. I'd better watch out. Yeah. Is this it? Oh. Dramatic music for occasionally shooting an imp is feels wholly inappropriate. It's like 90s action movie caper music. When I say action movie, what I mean is like family movie. A PG rated action movie. What's gonna happen now? I should have just done that in the first place. Oh. Carry you. Be somewhere I can stick this thing. Yeah, it might be this cage, maybe. I think they're standing right next to the things you got to drop them in. Don't leave anything to chance, video game. Just. Point everything in the right direction. No, don't want to go that way. Been that way before. It's boring. Oh. That door's locked. Ooh, chocolate frog. I could use that. Climb on top of the and then climb on the Yep. Beans. What's this? Headway. That's 
some magic right there, getting a bird to actually obey you. Premium owl treats. What? What? Let's give him some treats. What? This is a very owl appropriate music. Perhaps in this crate there might be some. An owl tree. I hate my life. Here you go, stupid bird. Here here's, here's some owl treat. It's a worm! Oh, and he's off again. No. He's not going to learn how to lower. Brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig. How can an owl lower a ladder? He's magic, that's how. Camera. Oh. Well, that's massively inconvenient. Oh boy. Ain't nothing like random <laughs> floor puzzles that don't even highlight the fact that they're going to break on you. Oof. You. So you can see him from the other side. This is the worst puzzle in the world. It's also the worst built ceiling in the world, but we're going to ignore logic for two seconds here. Just now that the camera is all over the goddamn shop, get in there. Let us never speak of whole floor ever again. <laughs> that seems to take a lot of effort. This kid needs to uh, need some more calcium if he's really struggling to open doors. Down here. Crate and a bun. I like the ominous music is still playing, even though we're outside now. The door's locked. Well, I need to move that box. Is that all I can do? Oh. Oh! That's exciting. Let's go find out what's in that crate. Maybe another owl treat. Perhaps a wizard card. Don't say I didn't call it. I called that. This is an elaborately locked door for something in the real world. And so the way you assume magic could just destroy doors anyway.
They live in a world with magic. What are they worried about locks for? I don't like this loading screen either because it keeps making me think he's going to load really quickly and then it just it keeps on going and back and forth as opposed to any other loading bar where you cycle or you uh, you go from one end to the other it's a lovely, lovely stuttery mess as well The spiny serpent. Take that flowers. Harry! Harry, we hoped you'd only gone one fireplace too far. I was frantic with worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. The flu powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplace as I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? No. That's so kind of you, Harry, but I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, grade two, from Flourish and Blots, and a new potion bar from Mole Peppers. Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blots then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the heart when you used the flu powder. A silver sickle. What? what? Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go. One to coin. Blots. What's that going to buy me? Follow me, I'll light the way. Ice cream parlor, that sounds pretty good. Let's just chill out and eat ice cream for the rest of the game. No. This looks like a bookshop. And it's detailed enough that you know that they want you to go in there. Secrets of video game development revealed. I'd like to buy that, please. These <laughs> I'd like to buy that. By like Dragon Age 2. Ah, now that would be one sickle. Well, that's convenient. Blue symbols. I learned the power of commerce. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful <laughs> spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful. I did that. Don't overpower your spells or you could end up in a spot of... I didn't learn anything then. Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh, uh, thanks. Jesus. I'm going to cast a spell on you, stupid foot person. No, I'm not because the game's not going to allow it. Search. <coughs> I've got more bees. This seems like a massively unclean book shop if you're finding sweets everywhere. Look at all those beans. Wow, and every flavour bean. I wonder what you get for getting 50. More every flavour beans. There might be 50 in this shop. <coughs> please, sir, please stop putting your hand through the bookcase. Another every flavour bean. A bean. Let's just collect beans the rest of the day. I'm sure there's spells to be casting. But I need to know what happens when you get 50. Oh. Have they got on board of giving me them now? Oh, they give me one. This side of the shop, very sweet free.
Como? Oh, come on. Stop being so stingy. Oh, one more. I hate this game. <laughs> oh, there's one more thing to search. Nah, I think the game's gotten bored of me. Check, I've searched every wall. Yeah! Oh. Is that just an inventory limit? Which makes no sense. You can only eat 50 and then you're full. At no point does that number go down. Well, Harry, did you get your book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Yeah, holding the button and then releasing it. Lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Japes. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my speller tape. So I think that must be in the Leaky Cauldron. Hmm. Magical Menagerie, Gamble and Japes, and the Leaky Cauldron. Gossip. We really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to yeah. do this, Ginny. Yes, Harry. Prolonging the so tutorial much, much longer than it need be. Show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. Damn straight. I'm going to get that sickle as well. Some more practice, uh, Harry. Let shut up. go of the spell earlier. Lupendo. A silver sickle. Take that all barrels everywhere. All right, let's go to the joke shop. You for good, Potter. What are you doing in here? This is Gamble and James, the Wizarding Joke Shop. Wait, can I search through the bookcases? No. Do I need to look in the fireplace? Go on, try the magical measure. You'll need to cast the perfect flippendo spell to make it Oh. Wow. Well, I me mean, it's teaching me the basics. And getting me some coin. Some of that paper. That. Jesus, this is like Vice City's auto targeting system. How big is that quill? Ginny's quill. Flipendo. I get some. Yeah. Flipendo. I'm gonna buy some stuff. Flipendo. This gameplay is riveting. Six coin. That's how many I got. If you want to get the magical measure to the top, yeah, I already did that. Cast a perfect flippendo spell on it. How much are stink pellets? Four sickles for a pack of ten. <laughs> Go on then. You now have some stink pellets. Some you can equip them. No, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. There we go. Right, where else did I have to go? I had to go to the... The Leaky Cauldron, and I had to go to the... Magical... Majestico, whatever it's called. Menagerie of... Uh, millenniums. 
Ginny said her brass scales were in here somewhere. Do I have to destroy some more crates? I pro if I promise I've learned how to create, to destroy crates. Am I breaking into a place here? He doesn't seem that bothered. If so here we go for a stealth section. <laughs> that went well. As always, stealth section in a kid's game. Like I say, he really doesn't seem bothered about keeping me out, to be honest. I have what's in this crate, though. A wizard card! It always appears to be the same wizard. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, we're back to regular music. Does that mean that guy's forgotten all about me? I know you're here somewhere. Hey, you just saw me. I wonder if the noise of a spell might distract him. I wonder if we don't care. You won't. I'm gone. Love all this loading for three minutes of gameplay. Right. Last place was the Leaky Cauldron. I didn't think I walked past that place, so maybe I need to go back the other way. That was the that was the joke. I'm going back the wrong way. Unless Leaky Cauldrons appear somewhere. Nailed it. Ginny's right. Ferrite must be in here somewhere. Ooh. Nice. Oh, it is a skybox. I was like, why is that white? It's really strange. It's a pretty well rendered Hagrid. There's nothing in this fireplace. There must be another way to get Ginny's speller tape. Do I know you? Oh yes, you're the famous ever red gadding with gold. Oh, you're boring me. Just give me the speller tape. I can't believe I just said spello tape. That Gilderoy Lockhart's a fascinating ever red gadding with gold by. You're the clone as a person earlier. That scar's a dead giveaway. Oh, Mr. Potter, delighted to see you again. Make yourself at home and have a good look around. <laughs> Alright, let me destroy your <laughs> crates. You'd be doing me a favour getting rid of all these tiny barrels. <laughs> I wanted the coin. That's the way coins work. Let me guess. The speller tape's in there. 
that's not in here. Giant rats. Was it imps again? Make an horrible noise. Yeah. Get up. Oh, come on. Throw better than that, Harry. Honestly. Get some spinach in your uh, diet. I can only throw three feet in front of me. Even though I'm a magic man. Yeah, best get that wizard guy while I'm down here. This looks like some platforming, platforming. That spell really doesn't last very long, does it? <laughs> Not going back there anytime soon. Uh, okay. That's too high to climb. Oh, I can climb along, along there. Wow, what a dynamic camera angle that is. Get out of it, box. You know the box of me. <laughs> okay. That looks like some stairs. Oh no, it's one of those walls, isn't it? What? Where did that come from? Did this lodge from the chimney? Foul play. I call foul play on that. Alright, I'm done. The Leaky Cauldron's the finest pub in London, Harry. It's got a huge cellar, you know. I know, it's been down there. Not a lot of beer down there. A lot of imps and <laughs> seemingly endless rolling barrels. I wouldn't define that as a good cellar. Right, let's get out of di di Diagon Alley. Hello there, Harry. I Hi. All your things, Ginny. Is your too incompetent oh, to go back and get them yourself? So wonderful. No, really, it was nothing. It was. It was You're twenty minutes of my life. Kind boy, Harry. You really. Deserve a famous witches and wizards card. Oh, good. I haven't got any of those. Oh god, there's a hundred and one of them. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. <laughs> Gilderoy Lockhart signing copies of his latest book in Flourish and Blots. We were thinking of going in to see him. Would you like to come with us, Harry? Oh, Do I have a choice? Uh... Okay, then. God, even the video game character doesn't seem very sure about wanting to do that. Let's go back in the bookshop. Just dragging out as much time in Diagon Alley as possible. Great Scott! Is that... It is. It's Harry Potter! Ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh. This is the perfect it's an eccentric person. I have great pleasure in announcing that this term I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Did that sentence need the word teacher in there? That, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. 
I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. Here, girl, take this one. Girl. <laughs> the least I can do to help out the poor and oh poor. god nope nothing to return to that fame is a fickle friend and I would encourage you to be careful how you play the fame game so to speak be sparing with your public appearances at first and watch the company you keep perhaps don't don't be in oh, horns. Miss the train! Miss the train? Yes! The Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago! Oh no! What are we going to do? Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. He sparked in Charon Cross Road. Okay, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. in the wilds of Tees that I managed to regain my former prominent position as the world's most popular wizard. Harry? Nope. Nobody's listening. I'll meet you in the courtyard outside the leaky cauldron. Okay, so we're late for school, but we're going to have another wander around. Let's just go. I've got to see the school before we finish this. Did you remember to get your potion file from our <sighs> peppers, Harry? Ugh. This is like actual back to school. Let's go shopping for three hours. There we go, that's what I want. Get, get in the door. Doesn't help that there's a 30 second load time anytime you go inside a door. Alright, I'll let him off, that was 11 seconds. Excuse me, how much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. What? I need to find more sickles to pay for my potion vial. You better have some around the back. How am I... How am I going to get six sickles? Dear God. Right, so... No idea what I'm eating. Gringotts Bank? Maybe they can give me some money? That's closed. Lots of crates. All right, I'm feeling pretty good now. Again, though, why even make me collect the damn things? If you're just gonna hide all the coins right outside the shop. And again, this looks like it's programmed to give me just the right amount of sickles. So. Kinda pointless. Give me that potion vial. Brilliant. I wouldn't define it as brilliant. You're very welcome to fill your potion vial with Wigan World stamina potion. The Wigan World's in the large cauldron over there. Thanks very much. Done and done. Let's get the hell out of here. I think it's time I went to Hogwarts. I, I agree. I run outside the leaky cauldron. We've spent nearly an hour so far and we haven't actually hit that place, so let's go. Ready to go to Hogwarts, Harry? Yes. Oh no, you mean we're not going to make it? We're going to have to go through the woods? The hell? Oh right, I thought he was bleeding then. Well, at least we'll see some action. 
But so far this has been excruciatingly dull. Like, well made, I guess, but... Oh, really? <laughs> the reviews of this are, are pretty decent at the time, it's like 7s and 8s. I can see that, because the production values are quite high. The gameplay feels solid, just unremarkable. And by today's standards, agonisingly slow to start. Like I say, we are literally nearly an hour in. Alright, so now he's done. Oh, these textures are a little rough. It looks fine when we're in Diagon Alley, but this is... Um, we're in Grainy Land, aren't we? Ah! That was a bad idea. Harry's on drugs. Oh. Let me just let me just climb past you. Yep. Just figure that out. There we go. I think I just about got away with that. <laughs> Some very ropey platform in there. Reap! The second one, they just couldn't be bothered. Yeah. Oh, this is... you telling me I can't auto-target those damn things. Can I... There was a manual aim in the last game, wasn't there? Just let me pass you. Again, some dicey uh, platforming work here. Okay. I don't really know where I'm going, but... That's, that's just blue, so, yep. The pendo. This seems dangerous. Probably don't crawl into a giant tree. Right. Uh, yes, I figured that out. But what are you trying to tell me to hit? Tree? Yep. Oh, I could use some health. In all fairness. I could use more than you're giving me. How many of these are going to be? You had an opportunity to do gameplay that was slightly different, and we're back to shooting imps. This is an interesting concept of fun. Let's just let's just mash the buttons until the bar is gone. Ah. Wow! What the hell is he holding?
Oh, I thought it was going to be something useful. Is that the Price is Right loser sound? Background. Here we go. Uh, around here. The frame rate seems to be holding up a little bit better now, which is making me feel better. When you're playing a game like this, I expect it to, you know, just, just run nicely. Chocolate frog, I confuse you. Oh, you're already falling over. Full health. Those things are valuable. Uh. Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, it should be going this way. Where all the twinklies are. Yeah, let's get the owl involved. That's a lot of text. Giant dog spirits, they are advised they can be harmed by the light directed from a Lumos spell. Thank you for that. Is this going to be a dog attack? There we go. Supposed to do something. Okay, it's just the regular light speed thing you need. That's changed how it works. Alright, I've just about had enough. I've played far too much of this game and it's it's unwilling to show me anything other than this, so <laughs> Yeah, I give up. This is uh, the Chamber of Secrets, and Harry Potter is about to die. Oh, apparently he can't die. What just happened? What if, why am I still alive again? No idea. Anyway. Oh, there you go. It is the, it's the same thing as last time. You have to power it up enough to get the little cone. But hey. Who cares? This game, uh, this game seems fine. It just took its sweet time getting to anything resembling gameplay, and I wouldn't say going around fireplaces collecting things is gameplay. 